There's something that many cow owners neglect to do that could be harming their cow's health and lowering her milk production. Many cow owners, including myself. I've never gotten this done before, but from what I'm seeing, it's time I get it done. So what am I doing? I'm getting my cow a pedicure. I've actually trimmed horse's hooves myself before or helped with it, but this is something different. This is something that I've never seen done in person before. I've got a guy who's on his way here to do it. I don't know what all it entails. I don't know how it's gonna go. A little bit apprehensive about it, but obviously it's, you know, it's just a hoof trim. So I really think it'll be okay. So after having cows for six years, why am I deciding to get this done now? Because really in the past, I haven't seen it as being necessary. Like my cow's hooves didn't look extra long, like they needed to be trimmed. And that is true for a lot of cows. Their hooves will stay trimmed down just naturally. And some, their hooves don't grow as fast. With Maddie now, I've just been noticing that she seems to kind of limp sometimes maybe. That it seems like maybe her feet are sore and she doesn't like to walk sometimes. It doesn't seem bad, she's not lame, she's not, doesn't seem exceptionally unhealthy or anything like that. It just it seems like she's uncomfortable. And so I really want to get this done for her. I want to get her hooves trimmed. It's a little pricey. It's like $125 to have them come do it. But I think it'll be worth it just for the comfort of my cow because I really like my cow and I want her to be comfortable. And also it's something that I've read can help with milk production because if your cow is uncomfortable, the stressed out, she's not going to produce as much. And that goes for pretty much anything on a farm, on a homestead with animals that if they're stressed out, they're not going to produce. Chickens are crazy about that. If your chickens are stressed out, they're not gonna lay as well, and that can be super frustrating. So if your chickens aren't laying well, look for areas of stress that you can eliminate. With my cow too, she is producing really well, but hey, maybe she'll produce even more after I get this hoof trimming done. You know when to stop, how you trim it, stuff like that. It's all in just doing it, honestly. Just right. as far as knowing when to stop, is I just kind of go by the texture of the foot. I mean, I trim so many cows, I just, I just kind of know when right. I stop. Well, every cow's foot's different. They always say from the tip of the toe to the hairline, three inches. Okay. Not every cow's gonna be three inches. Right. It depends on the cow. How many cows do you do at one time? In a day? Yeah, like at uh, one. This is 74 today. <laughs> wow. So just by what you saw, would it have looked like you know, she's probably limping a little bit or whatever because they're long and stuff, or did it really look that bad, or? I don't see any huge issues. Would you say there's kind of a time period that they're a little tender once they're done, or? They might be. They might be tender for a little bit. Her hooves look so much better than they did. They look nice and cleaned up. They look trimmed down to where they're just more round instead of long and sticking way out the front. They just look a lot more like it feels like they should look. Kind of crazy to see how she go in that chute and get lifted up on her side like that. You know, might have spooked her just a little bit, but once she was up there, she was nice and calm. She was just laying on her side. She seemed fine. Went up there and petted her and stuff, and she was okay. And we're really doing her a favor here because her hooves were too long. He didn't find any kind of like pus pockets or anything stuck in her hooves or anything like that. So there was nothing bad going on, but her hooves were definitely too long and it was making her uncomfortable. He said after this trimming, her hooves will be tender now for probably a couple days. So I need to keep her up in this pasture on the grass so that it's nice and soft for her. We're headed out to celebrate reaching 1,000 subscribers here on YouTube. We're so happy for each one of you that's become a part of this community. Now make sure you stick around to the end of this video because when we get back, I want to go over how Maddie's been doing since she got her hooves trimmed. And also, as part of our celebration, we want to give away one of our More Than Farmers hats. So at the end of this video, I'll tell you how you can enter to win one of these things. This is a place called Young's Jersey Dairy. It's a Jersey farm where they make ice cream. They've got hay rides, corn maze, and a putt putting place called Utters and Putters. So we're going to go have some fun and celebrate. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Oh, good job, Eden. Hey, darling. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Want to see it now. Kind of coffee talk or something. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. 
So it's been several weeks since we got our hooves trimmed and honestly after the first few days I was getting a little bit worried because it seemed like she was really tender on her feet and he said that she would be but for more like a couple days is what I had gathered but I guess it just took longer than I figured it would. It took about a week for the tenderness to go away but then once it did it hasn't showed up. I haven't seen her limp. Seems like she's doing really well. She's given like four and a half gallons of milk a day which is awesome. To be able to say whether that's part of the hoof trimming or not I don't know because we just weaned a calf so obviously after you wean a calf that production is going to go up because the calf's not taking the milk but this is more than she's ever given like consistently like it's been like a couple weeks now probably that she's been given four and a half gallons a day so what can you do to win one of these cool northern farmers hats comment below your favorite animal on our farm and you'll be entered to win after three days i'll go through and pick out everybody that commented an animal and put them in a hat or something draw out a name then i'll contact whoever gets pulled out and you'll get to pick a hat from our etsy shop now how cool is that there we are.